Hey, I'm Jake of Rooted Romantic, and today I'm making a dragon. And today I'm going to be making a dragon. It's a wall art dragon piece made out of copper wire, and uh, I think I'm going to be doing a series of these mixed with different animals. This one is a seahorse dragon. You can kind of see the curve of the stomach there and the S there kind of horsey face. Um, so let's give it a go. To make this I'm going to be using 14 gauge wire, 18 gauge wire, 20 gauge wire, 26 gauge wire, a couple of cutters, some round nose pliers, needle nose, super fine needle nose, and a flat nose plier. Got my leather pad and steel block, my hammer for hammering and then I've got my textured hammer for some extra pizzazz. Alright, I've got this that I sketched out and I'll be tracing that around with this 14 gauge wire. First gotta unspool a bunch and then I have to straighten it out. So I'm gonna grab the edge with the plier and just pull with the your thumb, straighten out all the kinks. Alrighty, so we got the wire all straightened out, and now we're going to start with the head here. Come all the way around, do this wing, and the tail all the way to the edge of this thigh there. There's going to be three pieces. That first piece, this uh, front thigh, and then the belly coming up to the jowl there. So we'll start with getting a nice spiral in. I like to start it and then cut it right at the edge of a smooth line. And gives us a nice, nice start. I've made a lot of dragons. They're one of my favorites. My second sculpture ever was a dragon about 10 years ago. I've already made this one back in December and it sold, but I figured I'd make it again for this video and start a series maybe. Make a whole bunch of dragons inspired by different animals. For instance, this one is inspired by a seahorse. You can kind of see the S in its body there and its little belly it's got and in the face it looks kind of seahorse-ish as well. I think that's kind of fun. So if you have any ideas for uh, what animals I should try next, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what you think. I'm going to add those horns in later. They're a bit too much detail for this 14 gauge wire. 14 gauge can be pretty difficult to work with. And straighten that out a little bit more again. As you can probably tell, I am a bit of a perfectionist. This is actually my third time starting over this project right now as I'm recording, but you won't see any of that because I just will edit it out. But we're getting to the point where I'll just be like, oh, it's good enough. It's looking pretty good. I can get some of the movement in just with my hands, but the tools come in handy, especially when you want to get some of the sharper, clearer defined angles in there. Maybe I'll actually go in closer a sec. Whoops. Okay. Flatten that out with the flat nose a little bit.
hammering it all out before it all gets assembled, but it's easier to see what you've done when you have flattened it as you go. And that out. There's another gouge on my desk. Whoopsies. wing done. A little messy maybe, but I like it. Alright, so we're going to straighten that out again because the tail is very long and you want it to be nice and smooth, so let's do that. So here we have the tail so far, or the dragon so far. I'm just going to grab onto it right in this smooth part that's already there because I know that's a pretty straight line. And I can fix whatever gets uh, bent by the plier a little bit easier there. So, just want to straighten that out. The wire's getting tangled up in my tripod there, so hopefully that's not too many shakes for you. pliers, and we're ready to continue. Alright, line it up again. And not following the lines exactly, especially when using this thicker wire. It's a lot easier to draw a shape than it is to follow it with the wire. And with this thick wire, it can get really difficult to follow the lines that you've made. So it's kind of like an improv, but a guided improv, I guess. So I don't know what that would be. Just do what you can. The more you fight the wire, the more bumps and everything you get. You want to just kind of guide the wire, drawing. It's mostly a reminder of the shape that I'm going for. Alright, and that's the first section. The line ends here, but I'm going to give it a little bit of extra space so I have some room to work with. That's our first section done. Now we'll get the leg and the other parts, and I'll just cut ahead to that. All right, so we've got the dragon got the outer side from the back and whoops the thigh front thigh and then this little piece that will connect the front there as well that's probably all that we're going to do in the 14 gauge so one thing that I don't show you is that I do wear ear protection with all the hammering I do it's important to protect your ears so, we'll start hammering. Here's the steel block. And the hammer. And this is the front way. So the front faces the block. So you try to hold it in the rough shape that you want it to be. Because it moves all over the place. Because once you hammer it, it's difficult for it to bend again. So, let's start. And 
And another thing is I'm not just hammering willy-nilly. There's some areas that I want it to be flatter, like on the round parts here in the spiral, and other parts where it's just lightly hammered so that it will hold its shape a little better. And these tips of the wings, I, I flattened almost all the way out. I'm gonna get this one off. And then I try to keep it so that there's no rough dings. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a divot there. I'm just gonna smooth that out a little bit. Many light taps. Alright, so for starters, we'll get this lined up and that lined up. Mark it down and bend it. That'll be our first wrap. All right, there we have the beginnings of our dragon. Yeah, there it is. All right, so for some of these next parts, we're going to be using 18 gauge wire. For the other background pieces, we've got the back wing here, the front leg there, the horns, yeah. That's probably it. I'm going to be using a thinner gauge wire, and we'll just probably speed through this. So for that one, I'm going to be texturing this bubbly one. So uh, that's what we'll do now. I'll bring you in for a closer look. That's the texture. This is what it looks like before. It's just smooth and shiny. I don't know if you can see that, but now there's ridges and bumps all through there, which is going to give it some more interesting texture. Alright, now with an even lighter gauge wire, 
it's going to be thinner than the last one that we just did. I'll do some fine other details like the inside of the wings on the back wing, this last spiral, and then a little zigzaggy thing that will add some texture to as well. Alright, here we go. That's all our pieces hammered out, I think. There's the main dragon, and I'll just start putting it together from there. The underneath pieces are going to be coming underneath like that. Gives it a little bit of depth instead of over top. So, roughly put that in the right spot there. And then pull that up and around. Alright, and that's how I make that seahorse dragon wall art. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and share it with somebody who you think might enjoy it too. And if you like the style, be sure to check out rootedromantic.ca. I have a bunch of jewelry, necklaces, and earring rings, and all sorts of stuff. I'm working on getting more of the wall art up there and working on little planter things too that will decorate your little houseplant pots or whatever. If you have any ideas of more content you'd like to see on this channel, be sure to let me know in the comments below or reach out to me directly. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a nice day.